Hey YouTube, I just wanted to share two interesting things with you. Um, I I haven't said this yet. It's in my interest, but I love to cook. When I cook, I can tell what two things will taste like before I put them together. It is limited in two ways. One of them, if I haven't tasted the item before, I can't tell you what it will taste like with another item. Like if I've never had a coconut, then obviously I can't tell you what a coconut would taste like with a bean and cheese burrito. And then the other way it's limited, um, I can't know 100% what they will taste like, but I can say if it will taste good. And then, um, I also know, I figured out how to smoke liquids, take some wild wheat, you cut one end so that it has a hole in it because it's hollow, and then you light the other end and smoke comes out the end of the hole. Point it towards the oil or the liquid, whatever, and then mix it up and you got smoked liquid. And then, of course, everybody knows about the regular method where you have that big, huge cloud of smoke, which I would normally use for regular things, but since I wanted to do it quick the other day for um, what I ate, which was the thing I'm telling you about, I lit, I did that to smoke some sprinkles and I put it on the ice cream. And not one of my better combinations, but it, it was interesting. It, it tasted kind of okay. And so then the other thing, I want to talk a little bit about my short animation, thank you, YouTube. So, when you watch the video, you're probably thinking, alright, so, he drew some characters on the computer, and then he made a few simple frames with paint, and put them into Windows Movie Maker, and that I didn't want to go through all the process of doing every single frame. Actually, it was Hypercam that wasn't good at recording, because I made a game to do my animation. I made a game with Game Maker, where... Um, I had the guy moving and then it touched an object which then made it do the um, animation of the sprite to pull out the gun and then which then made it create the bullet and then which then hit the YouTube sign which then created the individual objects which were uh, the sprites of the different halves of the YouTube which then fell. So I did Game Maker to make that animation and if I if I would have um, been able I still if I would have been able to get Hypercam to record it without having that jumpiness to it, then it would have been a better animation. I, but, yeah, I still haven't been able to do that. So, I just thought I'd share those two things with you. And, that's it. Bye.